Welcome to the Melco training video on how to print a shirt start to finish with the Epson F2100. To print a black shirt, you will need to pre-treat. Pre-treatment is an important step and is best applied with a pre-treat machine. It's important to square up your shirt on your pre-treat platen, just like you would on your printer platen. The key to good pre-treat application is full coverage of the area to be printed. Use a fabric roller to remove any lint or loose fibers. Your pre-treat sprayer should deliver full coverage edge to edge of the shirt. This is critical to ensuring you have covered your whole print area. Banding or striping in your pre-treat spray will affect your print and should be addressed by cleaning your machine. Here is an example of a perfect full coverage pre-treat application. Next you will need to dry your wet pre-treated shirt. You can do this a number of ways. You can hang your shirt to dry, use a conveyor dryer, or use a heat press. When using a heat press, be sure to square up your shirt with the platen. Use a piece of parchment paper to protect the shirt from any impurities on your heating element. Dry at 320 degrees for a minute or so, or until 100% dry. To check if your shirt is dry, feel the inside of the garment to avoid driving up any fibers. Set your platen height for printing on a t-shirt. Your platen height will vary for different thicknesses of garment. Unlock the platen and adjust the height. Typically, a t-shirt is set on platen height 1.5 or 2. Lock the platen and you are now ready to load a shirt. There are two ways to load a shirt. First, you can lay both layers of the shirt directly on top of the platen and use the hoop to hold secure. The second method and the method I prefer is to thread or dress the shirt. It is easy to line up the shirt this way. Pull all the way back then pull forward and use the tag to center. Then feel under each sleeve for the seams. Ensure the seams are even under both sides of the platen. Make any adjustments if necessary. I typically load the collar just off the edge of the platen for a standard front print. Next, secure the hoop and ensure all the loose fabric is on the tray and out of the way. The grip pad comes in the box with your new printer and is easily applied to your 14 by 16 platen. This is a new option from Epson and allows you to thread a shirt without the need for using a hoop. Thread the shirt as you normally would, pulling straight back. Then pull forward while lining up the tag with the center. Check the sleeve seams and adjust if necessary. Next, use the grip pad tool to smooth out the shirt. You are now ready to print, no hoop needed. Here is how to print a black shirt. By now you should have downloaded your drivers and garment creator at epson.com support f2100. If you are unsure how to use garment creator, be sure to watch the Melco training video on Epson F2100 Art Basics. Be sure your computer is connected to your printer either via the network or a USB printer cable. You will see your printer is labeled in the left corner and garment creator will read standby. Go to file and open your transparent background image. Place and make any size adjustments if needed. Garment Creator shows a one inch square grid. I typically place one to one and a half inches down from the top of a platen. Choose black color t-shirt. Then I like the default settings with the white area reduced to four. Press print and the job will spool. The default settings are a great baseline though you will want to experiment with all the setting options. Press the blue button when the blue light flashes on your printer. The F2100 will lay down white first, then color over top. The ink is wet, so take caution when removing the shirt to dry. Thread through the heat press platen. Lay parchment paper down from back to front. Be careful not to smudge wet ink. If your heat press has hover mode, let hover for a few seconds, then close with zero or one pressure for 75 seconds at 320 degrees. If you are using double pass white, you will need to cure for 120 seconds. Your shirt is now cured and ready to sell. Here's how to print a light shirt with no white ink. Light color t-shirt standard will not print white ink, so you can open a white background JPEG or a transparent PNG. Place and resize as needed. Be sure light color t-shirt is selected. The default setting is level two, I chose level 3, though you will want to experiment with these settings to find the quality that works for you. Press print in Garment Creator and the job will spool. 
When ready to print, the blue button will flash on the printer. The F2100 prints color extremely fast. The ink is wet, so take caution when removing. Thread over the heat press platen. Lay down parchment paper back to front and avoid any smudging. Cure for 45 seconds with 0 to 1 pressure. When complete, your white shirt is ready to sell. Be sure to watch all of our Epson DTG videos on the Melco YouTube channel.